let's split this up into two different pieces. The the rally in stocks that happened after 0809 outpaced maybe the economy, but it didn't outpace the Fed. It didn't outpace the support we were getting. If we look at this period now and assume that the stock market discounts things 12 to 18 months, months out into the future, then this is on track. We made a new high in the S&P on Tuesday, which would suggest that this recovery is going to go on uninterrupted until we get back to previous levels of growth or output by about the middle of next year, which is what we believe is going to happen. In that theme, you do see other parts of the market that should come and pick up steam here and narrow the gap between themselves and big cap tech. Steve Weiss, you've got targets for the S&P that continue to go higher, whether it's Tom Lee, who joined us last week at 3525. You got a couple targets of 3600. Can the stock market really continue to just outrun, as I say, the economy, right? The data continues to be the data is just not good, right? The economy is not in a good place. It's just not. I don't care what anybody says, it's not. But yet the stock market has just hit a record high in the S&P this week. Yes, and as I pointed out yesterday before the Fed minutes, I was concerned about a slowing economy, and we've got a two-part economy. We've got the part that continues to do well, and those are the stocks that continue to do well, and then the other part that's more, I'd say, more involved in Main Street, uh, people that are more susceptible to job losses, reductions in pay, that continue to do poorly. And that's the value, alleged value segment of the market, and I don't really see value there. So the market does discount the economy 12 to 18 months in advance. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's discounting a positive economy 12 to 18 months in advance. It could very well be ahead of a negative economy, which is why we're seeing some weakness. Hey, you're, on, you're on lightening that. up your positions, so, right? You, you have more cash, Steve than you normally do. That, that tells me that yep. you subscribe to the belief that this can't go on forever the yep. way it's gone on now. Right, well, well, part of that is that I've lightened up on, some, uh, on a couple of tech positions because I do think there's pull forward. And while that's going to continue into this quarter, particularly as the Huawei deadline's out there on September 15th, where companies have to stop doing business, you'll see a lot of stockpiling. But the visibility into the fourth quarter is not going to be so great. So I think what the market's really discounting at this point is not a better economy necessarily. That's part of it. It's discounting a vaccine that's supposed to come out before the end of the year. And I think they'll be disappointed in that going forward. So next year, I don't see a blowaway market. I think it's appropriately valued. But yet there are some values here. So the reflection of my cash is not so much I'm turning bearish all of a sudden. It's that I'm rejiggering the portfolio. As I mentioned yesterday, going into clean energy, which I believe Biden's going to win. That's going to be a major investment theme. It has been already under the radar, even though those stocks are at 52-week highs. I bought another one today, Vestas Wind Systems. Guess what? They make windmills. So to me, it's more looking at things that are really extended, that can't live up to the promise, going to other ones that I think will have additional promise that the market will move to.